Hello. Uh, today I felt like pretending to know something about game design, so I wanted to uh, share some of my criticism on the Escalation mode in Hitman. Um, if you don't know what Escalation mode is, I'll just use this as an example. It's like basically you first complete the mission, you, be, you kill this guy, trace this pile of stuff, then you finish the level, then you do it again, but you also have to hack the laptop to complete the mission. You do it again, but that time you have to kill this guy as well, and so on and so on until you reach the final level, in which you hopefully have to do some some uh, more planning than usual, and it's a challenge, at least supposedly, and most of the time. I like I like the idea, however, uh, it has problems in the execution. Has had them since the beginning, really, and at the beginning when these first few came out. I didn't really mind, I figured, alright, they have to just try things, see what works, they get some feedback and then they'll improve it. But problem is that now there's like 30 plus of these out, and the same problems keep repeating. And uh, the biggest one that keeps happening is that <clears throat> when you move on to the next level of the escalation, it just feels way too similar. Uh, there isn't enough change, and I think uh, a big reason to that is that they, for some reason, really want the escalations to have five levels. Like, all but one of these have five levels. The only exception is the one I, I had the chance to uh, participate in creating, which has three levels. And I, I thought the feedback on the three levels was good, so I'm surprised they haven't uh, done more of that. Yeah. Uh, promote the five levels is that usually at least one or two of them uh, adds in a minor complication that doesn't really force you to change your approach, approach at all. Uh, let's grab some example. I think this one was a really bad offender. So first level, kill this guy by pushing a little edge. All right. Second level adds cameras, which if you were shooting cameras to begin with, doesn't really affect you, or if you destroy the security system, it doesn't change anything. A lot of people probably do that by default whenever they play. So you're just repeating the same thing. Next level, all right, another target, that's good. That's an actual change. And then no pacifications. Well, I usually attempt to avoid pacifications anyway, so this doesn't really make any difference. It's another level that's just completely wasted. And final level, same exact thing, except you were supposed to keep the same outfit you were wearing in the beginning. Which doesn't necessarily change anything once again, so just three levels just completely wasted. Because for some reason this has to be a five level escalation. What I think they should have done is... Uh, uh, have this guy be the uh, first target and uh, in addition to having him as the first objective include the cameras at the same time there's no reason to not do that really then in the second level bring in this guy as well as one of these objectives so that there's both a target and an, uh, and an complication in the level. And well, okay, this may be a bad example as there's a uh, grand total of three useless complications. So this would turn out to be like a two level escalation in, with my logic. But perhaps something else could be added to this as well. Overall, this one was really repetitive when I played it. I'll like, take some other example. Um, Gladwin Simulacrum. This is uh, often regarded by many people as one of the best escalations, and I definitely agree. First three levels each add, adds a target. Great. That's a noticeable change. And then you're... Uh, in the fourth level you, you get to... or you're forced to kill them all within 30 seconds of one another. Which is technically something that you could do, even in level 3, but chances of that happening are pretty slim. And uh, 
the 30 second limit is surprisingly strict in this level, or in this escalation. And I thought this was a really clever uh, complication. I really liked how this uh, all worked together. It was like absolutely fantastic up to level 4. And then the level 5 came in and added landmines across the level. And landmines don't really do anything. So uh, they don't block your path anywhere. They just mean you have to be a bit more careful when you do the exact same thing. So even one of the best escalations, once again, has the problem of one of the levels being completely wasted. So I would have rather just made this a four level escalation. If you really want to have the mines in there, I'm personally not even a fan of them in the first place. They should have been in there since like level two, maybe level three. But there was no reason to have them as their own separate level. They didn't really add anything to the escalation. And what else shall we do? Oh, uh, this is another one which was like three targets, and really, really, really unlikely thing you, for you to do. And then level five is just meaningless, which is basically just do the same thing again. This place, the all eliminated targets in the freezer room. This was clever, I really liked this escalation. But the level 5 is wasted. Again, there should have been a 4 level escalation. There's no reason to make it a 5 level one. And then let's move on to the second major complaint I have about the, the mode. Another escalation which seemed really promising at first. Kill this guy with Saber, another target, another target and another elimination streak, which ties them all together real nicely. Great, I like that. Makes for a good challenge. And then in level 5, they uh, for once used mines in a way that I think is pretty clever, which is placing them near the exit, so you can't just uh, avoid them by walking a bit more carefully. You actually need to get the disarming device, which is somewhere in the level. However, the disarming device uh, is hidden somewhere in the map and you are not told where it is, meaning the only way to find it is to just go through every room in the map and try to find it. It's not in any logical place, like, at least I don't think so. Like, this, in the, this, is, this example is played based on what I've heard, I never even beat this, I couldn't be bothered to find it. But my point is that if there is gonna be a new item that is important to completing the mission, it should be on the map. Currently there are some uh, escalations with laptops or safes that you have to open. and uh, Those are always marked on the map. However, this uh, disarming device is not on the map. So finding it is just a huge waste of time. And this is even the... <laughs> This is the best example of uh, wasting time, because not only is it in a weird, illogical place, it's in a random place, so there's two or more locations where it can be, so even if you do find it, but you mess up after finding it, you might have to just look for it all over again and waste even more time. So... Uh, I, I don't see the logic in that. I think it would be much nicer if you could just open the map, see where it is, alright, you know where you're supposed to go, what you're supposed to do, you can start planning around that, but instead you're forced to just run across the map, check every room, hope you find it. It's a waste of time. And the same thing happens several times, for instance, um, Lupes in the city. You're supposed to kill this guy as the masseur and you aren't allowed to pacify anyone, which means you can't use the uh, the only masseur disguise without killing him. So if you want to get Santa Assassin, you have to go looking for the disguise which is hidden somewhere and you're not given any hints where it is and it's in a really illogical place. Massive waste of time. Is there any other other ones that I would like to use an example. Perhaps Kerner is quiet. Because this is once again regarded as one of the best ones. Like, first off, three kills, and uh, 
laser trip wires. I know some people really dislike these and um, sometimes they don't really do much, but in this case I thought they were used re in a really clever way as uh, you had to get a, both an assault rifle and a shotgun and they were uh, blocking your path with the, uh, with the trip wires so that getting both of those weapons was quite a challenge. It worked out together really well. And then they added level 5, which was complete the mission in 5 minutes. Well, I already did that in level 4. Why is this a complication? I think this one should have been in the escalation from the very beginning. I make this a, once again a 4 level escalation. So like 3 or 4 levels per escalation would be perfectly fine and they would be so much better automatically. But 5 levels just seems like a waste. Once again. Pacifying one hide all the bodies, enhanced enforcers. Like none of these necessarily affect anything. They don't have to be complications. Like two of them like lately I haven't even been bothering to beat this. Again, one of one of the more recent ones. In this one, though, no pacification actually does make a difference. However, it's added as a separate level before it makes a difference, so these first two levels are identical. After that, you get to get level 3, and you need to get the private detective outfit. But you're not allowed to pacify the private detective, which means there's a, a disguise hidden somewhere in the level, and you get to look for it everywhere on the map and it's in once again in an illogical place and not marked on the map wasting a huge amount of time so first you waste, it, waste time by repeating the same thing twice and then you waste time by looking for a disguise that's hidden in the map and then you get another useless uh, complication as the cameras are incredibly easy to deal with just once you find the detective disguise, dealing with the cameras adds like two seconds to your route. This could have been a tree level escalation, it could have been a pretty good tree level escalation, but as it is, it's just a, at best, mediocre five level escalation that loves to waste your time. Yeah. I've been talking for like 12 minutes and already dying. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap this up and say that. This mode has potential, but stop forcing 5 levels, there is no reason to. This would be so much better as 3 or 4 level escalations. Yeah. Hope anyone heard. This is great. Screaming into the void, hoping someone listens. Seems like the best way to try to make this game better.